Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. Um, don't forget my website, jasonburnspreacher.com and uh, we're going to look at uh, Speaker's Corner and the Quran and give you some helpful information uh, to debate people, uh, Muslims, and to talk to Muslims about the Quran. And um, the first thing I'd like to bring up to your attention is the issue between um, Shia and Sunni Muslim. Um, when you're talking to Muslims about the Quran, they won't want to talk about it in, in a critical way. Uh, they'll shy away from that and they will throw questions about the Trinity and the Bible has changed. But what you need to know is within Islam there has been a debate between Sunni and Shia Muslims and the Shia Muslims have said that the Quran has been changed uh, by the Sunni. Um, so we read um, for example, for example Al-Kafi, page 385, Shia narrator Abu Basir reported that he said to Shia's Imam Jafir as Dwik Abu Abdullah Imam Jafir, what is Musaf Haf Fatima? He replied, it is Quran containing three times what is found in your copy of the Quran, yet by Allah it does not contain even a single letter from your Quran. And I have here uh, tons and tons of information tons and tons of information about Shia and what the Shia think about the Quran and that the Quran has been changed and I just have tons of it tons of information so you could type in um, could type in Quran's distortions theory and allegations allegations so that's something you could exploit at Hyde Park it's something you, you could keep bringing up time and time again and bring up with Muslims uh, when you see them say hello are you Shia or Sunni and you could ask them well why are the Shia right or why is the Sunni now you could ask them why is the Shia right why is the Sunni right now what will happen is the very clever the Muslims any disagreements with themselves they try to hide from people they try to hide from everybody else so they won't want to talk no that's between us Shia and Muslim we keep that quiet between ourselves because they don't want the world to know that there are Muslim scholars that believe the Quran has changed so get them to talk about Shia and Sunni and then bring up tons of verses from their scholars that say the Quran has changed so go and research that, go and look and see what the Shia scholars say about the Quran and the Sunni scholars about how the Quran has changed and you'll be amazed. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is a Muslim scholar, uh, Muhammad Mustafa, so he's here, Muhammad Mustafa. Uh, Muhammad Mustafa Al Azami, Professor Emeritus at King's uh, Saudi University, wrote, We must nevertheless take into consideration that there are over 250,000 manuscripts of the Quran scattered all over the globe. When comparing them, it is always possible to find copying mistakes here and there. This is an example of human fallibility and has been recognized as such by authors who have written extensively on the subject. Of unintentional errors. Such occurrences cannot be used to prove any corruption within the Quran. The historic history of the Quranic text from Revelation to Compilation, a comparative study with Old and New Testament, Leicester UK Islamic Academy 2003. Now this scholar has admitted there there are copious mistakes within the Quran. 
And that is a devastating blow to Muslims. If Muslims are saying that the Quran is preserved, then the manuscripts have to show that. The manuscripts don't show that. The manuscripts show that there are copyist mistakes. He's admitted it here. So that's an issue that you can bring up with the Muslims. Um, the Muslims will say that the Quran has been preserved. Um, and if you go on to answering Muslims, are the chains of narration for the Quran reliable? Answering Muslims. If you type in answering Muslims, are the chains of narration reliable of the, for the Quran reliable are the chains of narration for the Quran reliable <coughs> by answering Muslims uh, David Wood and he gives a, a list of hadiths said that Muhammad did not collect the Quran and forgot parts and had even different versions Sari Bukhari volume 6 61 5 number 556 Khan Sarah uh, Sahih Al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 61, Number 513, Khan, Sunni Abd Dawood, BK 3, Number 1015, Hassan, Sahih Al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 61, Number 514, Khan, Sahih Al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 61509, Sunni Al Timithri, 3103, Cridley. Uh, next, the Quran was collected and memorized by his companions, but they memorized it differently. Sari al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 60, 468 Khan. Sari al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 60, 467 Khan. Sari Muslim, BK 4, number 1799, 1802. Siriku, Sari al Bukhari, Volume 6, BK 61, number 527. So, you can get that article um, there. Uh, answering are the chain of narration for the crime reliable? Answering Muslims, Monday, April the twenty third, two thousand and twelve, by David Wood. Now, let me just give you the background to this. I use this piece of paper on Masood, one of the Muslim apologists in Hyde Park. He shied away from it, he wouldn't deal with it. One of my friends, Mike, has used this in Hyde Park, read it out, he shied away from it. Muslims do not like this, these hadiths, because they're very strong hadiths, and they expose Islam very powerfully. So get a hold of that paper by answering Muslims, and when you go down to Hyde Park, check the hadiths, read the hadiths, look at the hadiths yourself and write them out and go down there and the Muslims will not like that and it exposes the idea that the Quran has been passed down from generation to generation. Here it shows that Muhammad, Muhammad didn't collect them, forgot parts, there were different versions of the Quran. We see that they couldn't even memorize it properly. Completely different from the Muslim story that we get today. Okay, we'll go on to the next part of our video will finish here and we'll go on to the next one.